This is Project 14 of Hacking with Swift. It's time for another game, and this time we're going to build a whack-a-mole game using penguins, because whack-a-penguin isn't trademarked. You're going to learn about SK crop node, SK texture, and some more types of SK action. And we'll also be using more GCD to execute closures after a delay. As always, we have lots to get through. Let's go straight to Xcode. In Xcode, choose Create New Xcode Project. Select iOS, then Game, then press Next. Call this thing Project 14. Make sure you have Swift and Sprite Kit chosen for the game technology. Uncheck these two checkboxes, then press Next, and create on your desktop. This game will also target landscape iPads only, so change devices from Universal to be iPad, and then uncheck Portrait and Upside Down, leaving just Landscape Left and Landscape Right chosen. As with all Sprite Kit projects, we're going to do some cleaning here, make it a good, clean project to work with. That means uh, deleting actions.sks. I can go to the trash. It means going to game scene.sks, deleting this big Hello World label, uh, going to its inspector here, uh, and then changing its anchor point to be 0, 0, its width to be 1024, and its height to be 768 to match iPad sizes. And then go into game scene.swift and remove nearly all the code. So the import here can go, uh, these properties can go, I'll leave the shell of did move to view and scrap its body, just leaving the open and close braces. Uh, touch down, touch moved, up and began. These can all go like that. Boom. All we really want is an empty touches began method, like that, leaving no code in there. So it means game scene.swift is basically empty. Next, download the files to this project from GitHub, from github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. I have them already on my desktop. Inside here, I have the hacking with a folder. In there, you'll find Project 14 files. Inside there, look for content. And here, all the files with at 2x.ping, they're graphics. So I need to select them all. Uh, you, can, you can sort of command and click to select individual pictures, like that. Select them all, and I want to drag them into the Xcode asset catalog. So over here, I'll choose assets.exe assets. Then drag those pictures in. Boom. The remaining two files, whack.caf and whackbad.caf. Select those now. These are sound effects we want the game to play as things happen. So I'll drag those in direct into the project navigator below info.plist. So not into the asset catalog. Make sure you copy items as needed, create groups, and add them to your target. And then you are good to go. Now remember, when working with Sprite Kit projects, I strongly recommend you use a real device if possible. Now, if you have not got a physical iPad to hand, you can choose the lowest spec iPad you can find in the list of simulators up here. So you can see that's probably iPad 6th gen or iPad Air 3rd gen, not iPad Pro 12.9 inch. It's a very, very big, extra slow device. So choose the iPad Air if you've not got a real device to hand.